Yay! Good morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Oh, we're very snuggly today. A true grocery shop but this morning we're just gonna run to Jewel and pick up some like quick stuff that we always have around the house so just a fun little field trip Jamesy gasped when he saw Groot Wow oh my goodness look at this Christmas we just have to get these I am on the lookout for those like Cheeto puffs that are like bones. Do you remember those? I can't find them anywhere this year. Hand to foot, hand to foot, daddy. Daddy loves this hand to foot. He's so funny. Success is not about the wins and losses. It is about helping these young fellas be the best versions of themselves on and off. And it ain't always easy. But we know growing up without someone believing. Nothing like getting, having some Ted Lasso <laughs> montage videos to motivate you in the work day. Teddy just woke up from his nap. So I went and got him because Sarah's still with Jamesy. So we're hanging out. Um, while I'm running some reports for work, sending some emails. And it's just a, it is a beautiful day, it's chilly. 40s today, 40s, 50s. Gotta talk to Sarah about when I'm gonna do a little run ski today. Isn't it so fun to hang out with these kids? I'm so lucky. Oh, and. This puppy girl right here. Are you just tired? Do you need a nap too? You could take a nap. You're the original napper. I thought it was going to be hot or cold, but then because you get out and you layer it up and everything, it's not cold enough to layer up just yet. I think it's like 50s. Wind chills would be lower, but the wind isn't terrible right now. But I have like this really warm Nike thing I got last year. I got my leggings on. A little toasty, but really great running weather. Freaking gorgeous out. Come on. Bit of a catch-up day for the Brookharts. I think we gotta go grocery shopping, do some dishes, do a lot of laundry. Um, kids need baths. I'm gonna need a bath. I stink after this run. Maybe get a tattoo. This is semi a joke. I've been jonesing for a tattoo in my other hand to match this one. Thinking about some kind of Celtic knot. Anyway, I get back to running. Six, six miles today. Six miles. Mmm. Jamesy's drink, drinking some something delicious out of these leaves. What's going on over here? 
Jamesy and Eve keep sneezing because Jamesy oh. had the pepper in the kitchen and was sprinkling it on Evie. Peter is on his run and I promised him while he was out, oi, he's, he's all right. Um, I promised Peter that while he was gone that I wouldn't think about our to-do list of things. Um, you know, that midweek feeling like I gotta get this done, I gotta get that done. Um, and just have fun with the kids and that's what I've been doing and it has felt so good. It's just been a really good, playful night. We were in the kitchen, we were eating some snacks. Um, I don't have a dinner plan yet. What's going on over here? Oh, you're just so sweet. Um, but yeah, we'll figure that out once Peter gets here, but I I kept my promise and it felt great. Oi! 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 You're silly. Oh gosh, here he comes. Oh, big hug. <laughs> The oh my word! <laughs> you giving him a nice hug? You got the camera strap? You got your brother? Oh my. Alright, I'm back from my run. Showered up and everything so I don't stink. And we are finishing up getting dinner ready and then we're gonna figure out what level of productivity we're gonna be this evening. There's vision of the salad. Yeah, and some pepper. This is Jamesy's plate. Guys, this is our sausage this, and sauerkraut. This smell just smells like the Germany Pavilion. It smells like vacation because that's where my family would always eat. I'm being dragged away. Come on. Tonight's dinner tunes <laughs> is brought to you by Bingo and Bluey from the hit TV show laughing. Bluey. Why are you laughing at me? You're gonna laugh at your dad like this? Teddy, how Is that James? That's James. James loves his fruit. He's a cereal section eater. So like he needs to eat each section once at a time. Like he tried, he like picked up the sausage and then put it down and then he's like, nah, I'm gonna eat all this fruit first. Ooh, thank you, mama. That was a nice bun. <laughs> Booga booga boo, Teddy, 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 Teddy. Today was tough. Um, I'm gonna pause my movie. I just put on Arsenic and Old Lace, which is a Halloween classic in this house. Um, it's a really great older movie with Cary Grant. Um, it's actually his least favorite role he's ever played because it's just shenanigans. Um, highly recommend. Um, it's called Arsenic and Old Lace. It's a movie about two old ladies who do questionable things. <laughs> um, but anyways, it's really great. It was a hard day, but it was a good day at the same time. And it's very possible for those things to coexist. I have the vlog, this vlog to edit or a ton of laundry to fold um and then the third option is to just sit here and to watch this movie and i don't know what i'm gonna do yet i genuinely don't know i'm at least gonna sit here for a few minutes um teddy is in a developmental leap which means he just takes a little bit longer to soothe, he eats more, he's just kind of going through it, and so it's our job to be there to support him. Um, so he just needed a little bit of extra love for bedtime tonight. Hopefully Peter will be done putting James down soon. Um, but yeah, just one of those days where your to-do list is adventitious. Is that a word? I think that's a word. You set yourself up to have a successful day, good to-do list you think you can tackle. Um, and it just it doesn't work out that way. So that's where I'm at. Just give me, give me a few minutes and I'll let you know what I end up doing.
gosh, Evie. Okay, this is gonna be a two-parter, but we'll still say here, it's good to be home. Wow, good morning. We're so happy you're here. <laughs> Teddy is going to town with this maraca. I handed him this maraca and he just starts shaking it like crazy. Oh. We have some eggs for lunch, tomatoes, hummus, tortilla. We gotta go grocery shopping, bro. Today, or else, or else. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Are you so happy? So happy because it got announced that Festival of the Arts is happening when we were hoping it would happen. Woo! But that also meant that we had to renew our annual passes, so we did. <laughs> And we booked a bunch of Epcot Park reservations for yes. after the cruise. Yes. I might still be wearing what I was wearing yesterday. But we are now like, oh, we're two and a half weeks away from our trip in November. And that's like full-blown vacation. We're flying, Christmas, all that. January is another Dopey Challenge weekend. If you guys have found us through Run Disney or if you just love our Run Disney videos, maybe you don't, <laughs> maybe you don't, but we do. And it's so exciting that there is another, another one happening somewhat soon. And then the cruise. And then we were, we we're going to be staying at Disney two more nights after the cruise. Um, and we'll share all of our like resort plans soon somewhat soon but we're staying on property and so we're like giddy disney vacation planning mode however we are getting on that cruise um soon we'll probably talk well i'm assuming like closer to it we'll probably talk about what this cruise means to us this will be the third attempt of getting on a disney cruise ship um so it's a big deal so dopey challenge we're going to be very very aware of our surroundings, very hesitant of germs. Nothing will stop us <laughs> from getting on that cruise. We're, we'll do our best to make sure that nothing will stop us. Um, but that also means like Christmas and we're, we literally have like a quarantine, <laughs> we literally have a quarantine day that we're like, if anybody's having snivels, we're not doing Christmas. Like we're straight up need to make sure we're healthy, healthiest, happiest selves because we're getting on there. So. These reservations make it feel more real. I just said no coffin. I just said no coffin, no germies. Oh god. <laughs> you playing together? Alright, everybody now. Say a prayer. I'm about to read some books and put James down for his, his snooze. <laughs> say a prayer for Teddy too. We're drinking the Kool-Aid heavy today. We got Adventures by Disney on YouTube, my favorite Walt Disney World Resort channel to watch. Just to get the feels. All right, Jamesy, we conceded to the nap strike today. We're game planning how to best move through this two-year-old sleep regression going on week two. We're hoping it ends soon and doesn't last the six weeks that we read about. And uh, we're gonna put on some Luca because we haven't watched Luca in a while while mom goes grocery shopping and to get a vaccine shot. And our Christmas treat of the day. There were still pumpkin Reese's, but. Really? Evie. Went with the Christmas trees. The healers have hitched a ride on the pick up truck. So I did not vlog at all while I was out. Um, Basically, just got some quick clips because I was running short on time. I had my COVID booster and flu shot appointment at 4.40 and I needed to fit in grocery shopping before that. Um, luckily, everything went really smoothly, got all the, the shopping done. Um, and now I am protected. Peter goes tomorrow. And what's great, like in my mind, is that we got, we're like this week, um, 
they'll be most effective while we're traveling in November for our trip to Disney as far as like the protection goes. This little one will get immunities through nursing and Jamesy is totally up to date on his um, vaccine series for COVID. Um, so we, feel, we just feel confident traveling, you know, during, during flu season. Jamesy will actually get his flu shot at his two year appointment next week. So we'll be all covered. Look at this pasta feast. We got the cacio pepe sauce from Trader Joe's. As well as a little veggie pizza. Excuse me, do you want some over there? <laughs> yeah? I feel like I didn't vlog much today at all. Did you vlog going to the store or the vaccine? A little. No. You didn't? Sarah got a flu shot? Well, I, I did after. Vax booster. Yeah. I went to Trader Joe's. Four hours later, my arm is really sore. Four hours later, sore arm. Um, James is asleep earlier than the past two weeks because he skipped out on a nap today. And Teddy's fighting going to sleep. So Sarah and I like have collectively been trying to like catch up on our housework the past two days. Um yeah, we've been trying to like catch up on housework the past two days. But you know, that's what happens. Life happens. Sometimes things get backed up, sometimes you're ahead of the game on other things. But it is Friday Eve, it's Friday tomorrow. I'm taking I have a four day weekend. I'm taking Monday and Tuesday off. Um, I'm getting my flu and Vax uh, COVID booster tomorrow afternoon. So that'll be exciting. And then, yeah, I'm having four days off. So I don't think we have plans really tomorrow. And there's less of like stress being on like, oh, it's the weekend. Let's go do fun stuff um, because it's a four day weekend. Like, I'm taking Monday, Tuesday off for Halloween and Jamesy's second birthday. I cannot believe he's going to be two years old on Tuesday. So much happened in those two years, but it flew by. But yeah, so much happened. M most magical two years. Still talking to the phone. Yeah. Sarah just made us two bowls of pumpkin ice cream with dark chocolate peanut butter cups. And she's making my dreams come true because we are going to start watching Ted Lasso, season one, episode one. Because I binged it in like four seconds. And I need Sarah to watch it and experience Ooh, really it. Good. Really good. Tastes like fall. Tastes like Halloween. Yeah. You know how like I'm not the biggest pumpkin person. Yeah. This is delicious. Nice. Thanks for making these. Mm -hmm. All right. We got one episode down. We got like five minutes into the second episode, and Teddy woke up. So we're gonna call it a night. We're gonna get ready for our lovely long holiday festivus weekend. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.